Fresno's newest skate park is the brainchild of more than 250 young people. Jim De La Vega is in Fresno to show us what it's all about. Good morning, Jim. What it is all about is the community coming together and having fun, and fun they are. Take off. You can show them how easily it is done. And this is a great new park, and it is one that is massive. It is designed colorfully with a lot of obstacles. It's just what the skaters want. Vernice, and that's kind of how it came about, right? Exactly. So tell me a little bit about this park, how it got to be. Well, this park is really the combination of a lot of effort by young people. They actually, over 250 of them, came together and actually designed the park. So they got a chance to figure out what they wanted to see, exactly where they wanted things to be, and then the drafting was done. They came back and reviewed it and said, yes, this is what we want to see. And then they were here to see the opening. So it is their effort, their enthusiasm that actually brought this to life. And what kind of, you mentioned that enthusiasm, was it there from the very beginning when you were talking and they were pitching ideas for this park? Absolutely. So if you can imagine a, a gym filled with 250 young people, male and female, kind of all generations and all ethnicities, but really buzzing about, oh, this is what I'd like to see and having really good discussions with each other and then also walking some of us new folks into, <laughs> the, into the light about what is, you know, what is a ramp, what, is, what do these little things mean and what do you do on them. So they had a lot of en enthusiasm from the beginning and it only grew when they realized, yes, this is actually going to happen. And everything here has a purpose. It was all designed and thought out for uh, the skaters so they have something just the way they want it, so they can be a part of it. And, and, uh, and they seem to be liking it. What, what has the response been now that it's built and they had input in it? It's been great. First of all, they're the ones who really took ownership. They decided this is, these are the things we'd like to see. But then they also have been you know, talking with their friends about this is a great place to skate and this is our park. So there's a great deal of pride about what they, were, what they were able to accomplish. And their hope is that we will continue this process of engaging not just young people, but community people in order to participate in, in gaining more park space, particularly in areas of the South, because we know there are lacking in park space. Right, yeah. right. And it's a beautiful place. Tell everybody where we're at. We are at Romaine Park, which is on Belmont and First. And courtesy of Building Healthy Communities, I am from Communities for a New California Education Fund, and this was a great partnership with a lot of work from a lot of different people, but we're all really extremely proud of our young people. As well, you should be in a beautiful park. It is. We're going to be talking with uh, some of the skaters, some of the people that helped put this together, some of the young people, and uh, find out a little bit more. I'm going to find out what all these little jumps and things are actually called uh, coming up in just a bit. Kim and Kofi. All right. Thanks, Jim. The new skate park in Fresno spans 15,000 square feet. It's located at Romaine Park, and that's where we find Jim De La Vega. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Kim and Kopi. How awesome is this skate park? It is absolutely amazing. And one of the most amazing things about it is the fact that some of the skaters had input on how to build the park. This is Manuel. Manuel, you've got to be, you've been skating a little bit, a little hot this morning, showing us some tricks. You got to be proud of what you guys have put together here. Oh yeah, um, I'm very impressed with how the skate park came out. Uh, 200 skaters, 200 people came out for the community. Uh, youth came out. We put all the funds in. We put all the plans. After I'll say about after four years, everybody's very surprised how it came out and uh, very impressive because if it wasn't for the CNC, it wasn't for you know the park environment helping it out. We would have never had this before. So, well, give me a little tour of the park here, and tell me what some of these things are. Now, I know I know what a rail is, but I'm surprised to see it in a park. Why is this here? Well, this is a uh, a set of stairs with a handrail. Uh, we've got a ledge. Mostly, when you go to like a mall or you go to like a school, you'll see a lot of these ledges on the side. So, this is a very uh, more safer area, so people can skate it. You know, be like, hey, there's a ledge here. Then you got like a handrail. Mostly you go to Fresno High, or Fresno City College, and the handrails you can't even skate, but they have the opportunity to do it here. So. And so you have a lot of things here in the park that are mimicking things uh, that are in real life. Now, what about this area over here? This one right here. This would be a loading dock. So you see this a lot behind like Walmart, CVS. Um, back in the days, we used to go behind the loading dock and we'd try to skate off the ledges and do drops, kick flips, and 360 flips. That's a perfect setup because they had a little kicker. You know, mostly you have to get like 
four by four, the little flat boards, and put them together. So this is actually more safer, <laughs> you know. Uh, and it, a lot safer. Now, when you say kicker, do you mean what would you do? Would you go up here and go onto that, or how does that work? Yeah. So basically, you know, you get a good run, and then you go up that kicker, and then up to the loney dock, and pretty much people would be doing kickflip manuals, 360 trays, uh, backside 180 manuals, nose manuals, and sometimes they'll hit the rails, and, and that's basically you know 50 50s. They would do crooks, so. You know, there's different maneuvers they can do, different styles. Uh, you're, you're just saying words, and I don't know what they are. <laughs> Basically, 50 50 is what's that? 50 50 is when your board goes up on the on the rail, and it's just straight up, you know, no board slide or anything, and you just come off. So oh, the nice. truck smashes the rail, so touch it. <laughs> well, what's your favorite thing to do on a skateboard? I'm a more pool guy, so I, I don't like know what that means either. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, vert skating, so quarter pipes, half pipes. So what I'll do is go up to half pipes or up the ramps. I like to do tricks off of there and do like rocky to fakies you know these tricks they're so complicated but they're really fun you know they're very difficult explain some to somebody pretend i don't know what you're talking about i don't know what he's talking okay. about <laughs> can you explain some of that to me um quarter pipes are like ramps like this uh -huh. so right behind us we have ramps set up with the the rails the copings so the top is the coping um you'll go up it and then you you know do your board slides the board slides kind of go over with your board over the coping or you can grab the board, basically like you're jumping in the air and then you're coming back. Oh, so those are nice. tricks you know. that you can do. And you, you enjoy skating out here, right? I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Well, I'll let you skate a little bit. And uh, we're, we're, we're just uh, seeing a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of skaters here that don't want to be on camera right now because they're a little surprised they come out of their favorite park and there's a TV crew out there. But we're going to have more show up as we go through the day. The park is gorgeous and it is ready for the skaters to come and enjoy. Kim and Kofi. All right. Thank you very much. More than 250 young people gathered at a community meeting last year to share their ideas for the perfect skate park. Those, ide those ideas are now a reality, and Jim De La Vega is there. Jim, good morning. Hey, good morning, Kim and Copa. You're right. And the park now filled with skaters as they're taking advantage of this terrific new park. It's only been open for a short amount of time. Bernice, when did this, the grand opening for this? This opened on May the 5th. So this is brand new, yeah. and uh, this is the culmination of a lot of work and a lot of love and a lot of input from young people as well. Exactly. We had over 250 young people that actually came out and helped design the park. And then we had another 300 show up and see, just let's take a look and review the drawings. And then we came back and they agreed it was all right. And so now it's built and they're happily enjoying it. So it's a great story. And I was talking to Manuel, who was uh, telling me earlier about some of the things here in the park and identifying different aspects. A lot of this mimics uh, locations you would find in a regular uh, place, in a parking lot, at a school, and that's some of the things the kids want. But this is a lot safer, and, and, and they say and a lot more fun as uh, well. He also said a lot of words, uh, skating terms, I didn't know what he was talking I about, but it looked pretty cool, right. sounded pretty cool. <laughs> so how do you feel now seeing this go from its inception to its completion? It's really rewarding because we really feel like it was the young people that drove the process. You know, they had the ideas, they shared their ideas with us, they talked about what they wanted to see, and then they showed up. Um, they've been here consistently picking up the park, making sure that they take ownership of keeping it clean, keeping it neat, and then adding things to the park. So it's really a great space, and I'm excited for them. Tell everybody where this space is located so they can come and join the fun. Absolutely. This is Romaine Park. It is on the corner of Belmont, just off of First. And uh, come down, you'll have a great time. Skaters here are, are pleasant, and uh, they'll walk you through it. I like the fact that where they were invested in the design of everything, they're now invested in keeping it up yeah. and making sure that it stays uh, clean and making sure they take care of it. Uh, I think that's a good thing to have with the young people, and they seem to be having a ball with the park. Yeah, they actually are the ones who just drove the process. And so because they were on at the beginning and we didn't just say we're going to build a skate park. We said we'd love to build a skate park. Please come and tell us what it is that you'd like to see. So I think that difference, that's the kind of community engagement that we're looking for. That's, the, that's when people are in on the ground. They're in it right at the beginning and then they take ownership. And so we want, we're hoping to see that same kind of community engagement 
when we do the parks master plan because we know that there are not enough parks particularly in South Fresno, and we need the community to, to be a part of that process of solving the problem. And there are plenty of folks who are ready to work on it and excited to be able to you know, see something like this duplicated in Southwest Fresno. Right, right. A new park is open and ready to go. It's just waiting on more skaters to come and enjoy. Kim and Kobe. All right, thank you. And clearly a part of skating is falling, and you just get up and keep going. And, and then you get better every time the yeah. more you do it. Absolutely. Well, Fresno's newest skate park was built with input from more than 200 kids. It's located at Romaine Park, and Jim Vega is there. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, Kim and Kopi. Robbie, you just slid up. Very well done, by the way. We were talking earlier about skate parks. How, how would you rank this one? One of the best in Fresno, definitely. Um, SLS did a good job on this park, and uh, it's going to develop a lot of good skateboarders here. And how long have you been skateboarding? Uh, about 15 years now, since I was 12 years old. And so. you tried a lot of parks? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, Lions, uh, Clovis Skate Park, this one's one of the best ones for sure. Oh, awesome. Well, I'll let you get back to it. And uh, that's what we're hearing more and more from skaters. This is one of the best parks they've been to. And I think that's because it was skaters who were instrumental in the design of uh, this uh, park. And you, uh, you, you've got to be very proud of this park, the way everything came out. It's, it's been a huge improvement to this facility, and it's helped us to uh, improve in other areas as well that are, are outside of the skate park, tying the skate park into the uh, community concept that we have here at Romaine. And one thing that I really love about this, first of all, I love the bright colors, uh, but it seems very much alive. And, and it seems very organic and alive when you're watching, particularly when you've got the skaters out here like this, and you can tell they're having a great time, they're perfecting what they love to do. And that, was that part of the design idea, to make it breathe? Well, um, the organization that put it together, that designed it, is, is throughout the state, and so they are very up to date on what skaters want. I actually was talking to one skater and said, you know, what is it about this park that, you know, you find different or and he said it was vibrant and vibrant. I thought that was a great description yeah. for it. And so every time I think of the park I think of that description of the skate park and I think of vibrant so and that's what we want this whole park to be thought of vibrant you know skaters are physically active they are working hard it, they stretch you know there's a whole physical component to it and that's what we want to see for all young adults for youth we want them to be physically active we want them to come here and work out and be strong and that's what our concept is of this whole park is we want families to come and use the walking path we want you know we want the skaters to feel comfortable skating just as much as they want to we want children to be physically active so it's it's all a part of like our whole concept so that's that's been phenomenal and then you can obviously see that a lot of folks are enjoying it already and and Kim and Kobe if you're wondering why I'm not on a skateboard we were afraid of uh, breaking a bone, not necessarily mine, uh, because when I fall, it's spectacular. I could, I could have broken anybody's bone. I also didn't want to damage the brand new park, uh, which is just absolutely terrific. The response that you're hearing is the, the skaters are all for this, but it's, it feels like the whole park has just kind of been rejuvenated. It absolutely has. It's, you know, we've um, uh, removed a street that was just kind of there and, and planted more trees. We have a community garden to the north of the park that we're going to be developing. We want, you know, we, we hope the skaters will help us keep an eye on the community park, which I'm sure, I mean, on the community garden, which I'm sure they will. And so, and this, by eliminating the street, we've tied the skate park in to the park. Yes, and, and getting rave reviews. Back to you, Kim.